What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. It's the end of an era. Ever since, like, forever, we've been entertained with TVD content, and now for the first time in over a decade, there won't be a Vampire Diary show on the air. So, what happened? Well, guys, the worst thing happened all of the sudden. Don't expect to see the fifth season of Legacies. The CW has canceled the original spin-off from Julie Plec after four successful seasons, and fans are confused. Now, we're not saying all four installments were followed by the same praise and popularity, but come on! We also don't believe that the the storylines on the latest installment were bad enough that the CW had to cancel the series because they weren't. So why did the CW decide not to go forward with another season? Things have not gone the way that you imagined them to. And yeah, maybe your mission statements failed. But that just makes you like the The June 16th season 4 finale now serves as the show's last episode and fans are devastated to say the least. It's not like we don't get to see a proper ending to the series because we did. The characters got what they deserve, at least most of them, and we finally saw a happily ever after for the leads. But if we're being completely honest, we feel like the final episode was kind of rushed. As you already know, the show follows Danielle Rose Russell as 17-year-old Hope Mickelson, the most powerful creature in the entire TVD universe. She's part vampire, werewolf, and witch. Set in the Salvatore boarding school for the young and gifted, legacies featuring different supernatural creatures trying to learn and control their powers. Along with the original spin-off, the CW decided to cancel Batwoman, DC Legends of Tomorrow, 4400, Roswell, New Mexico, Dynasty, and Charmed. Legacies comes from Warner Bros. Television and CBS Television Studios in association with My So-Called Company, with Julie Plec, Brett Matthews, Leslie Morgenstein, and Gina Giramalmo as executive producers. For those not familiar, the show comes with the same creator of TVD. The same mind that created the show that started the vampire trend in the film industry also created Legacies and its predecessors, The Originals. The creator herself was shocked when she discovered that The Vampire Diaries in the original spin-off has been cancelled. CW announced the cancellation of the popular show in May 2022 and fans all over the world World were quick to share their disappointment on social media. I mean, it's truly a bummer. Well, guys, I understand you. I feel your pain, which is why we're making this video. We went through every possible article, interview, and reason, and we finally know why the beloved show got cancelled. According to Pleck, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. But now, seriously, why was Legacies cancelled? Come to me some people might say, why do you care so much about a TV show being cancelled? Popular TV shows are getting cancelled each and every day, especially with Netflix. Well, as already mentioned, TVD content has been around for 13 years. The Vampire Diaries didn't get cancelled, the originals didn't get cancelled either, and now we just can't believe that Legacies, a show that had the potential of reuniting TVD and the original actors while introducing some really talented cast members, got cancelled. Fans weren't the only people who were shocked by the cancellation of Legacies. Legacies. It seems like its creators were left heartbroken once they heard the show has reached its end as well. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, the show's executive producer and co-creator Julie Plec shared her thoughts on the cancellation. What I felt in the moment was a concern for the hundreds and hundreds of people who'd lost their jobs across three of my shows. We did 331 episodes of television and a lot of people that worked on season one of Vampire Diaries worked on season four of Legacies. There was such a beautiful family that were able to build and Atlanta across these three shows. To think that that's gone now is sad. However, the show winner felt like something was happening. She kind of knew that CW won't give her a chance of doing another installment. Daniel Russell told The Observer that the cast met with Plec while filming the final episode. Apparently, not one cast member wanted the show to end, which is why they were unable to say such a sudden goodbye. Now, the viewership numbers weren't bad, and fans enjoyed the last installment, and we can't help but wonder what went wrong? Well, it appears as if the show got cancelled because of the CW's projected sale, which is also the reason for all of those TV shows being cancelled as well, per a report by The Express. Nothing is confirmed so far, but it's likely the CW is facing some really difficult times. Rumor has it is they were struggling financially. If this is the reason we've got a suggestion, Julie Plague should try and sell her TV show to Netflix. Isn't that a good idea? What do you guys think? Is Netflix able to save the day? Now, if the show was given a green light for yet another continuation, what could have happened?
It's been a minute since I've been summoned. Well, a lot. We've missed a lot of storylines, we've missed a lot of opportunities to see more cameos from actors we've been waiting to see since forever. The final episode of the series featured Hope finally making peace with her life and all of the events that happened to her. We especially loved the return of her father, Claus, played by Joseph Morgan, who helped her make peace over his death. She was given a mentoring role at Salvatore. In a recent interview with TV Insider, the actress said she really enjoyed filming the final scene scene, agreeing that this is the first time viewers saw Hope in a really good place and where she's accepted everything that's happened in her life. She's excited for what's to come. This is the first time we really see her at such peace and it felt that way when I was filming the finale. Sadly, her relationship with Aria Landon didn't end on a happy note, but the sad reality is that Russell believes that this may have been the end of the couple if the show was renewed for another season. I think there would have definitely been an option for them to be together at some point. She thinks the show would have found a way for them to be together with the use of some supernatural storyline, of course. Sadly, we might never see this happen. Before we continue, we have to ask, do you guys think Legacies deserves at least another continuation? Let us know. Now, not only did we see our favorite claws, but we also saw Candace King returning to reprise her role of Caroline for the finale. The character was given the position of the school's new interim head mistress, and who knows, the show continue, perhaps Pleck could have convinced Nina Dobrev and Ian Summerhalder to at least make a cameo or two in some episodes. Pleck explained she's pretty happy with the conclusion given to the characters, per a report by the EW, but the creator also revealed that she's not really pleased with the conclusion given to Ben. That was so new this year and it was so good. They were just getting started and now the story's over. That's one of the heartbreaks, Pleck said, adding that they were just warming up. According to you, which character just deserved a better conclusion. Let us know before we get into details about the new spin-off. It's gonna be ripped apart again, so I don't know. Help me catch my give me a sign or something. This is why we love Plaque. She's not given up. Plaque has already revealed she plans to continue the Vampire Diaries universe with future spin-off projects. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, she confirmed she has more stories to write despite the CW's cancellation of Legacies. According to her, they had a plan to keep the franchise on air until the next installment, which still exists in their brains, but is not on the page yet. But Plaque promised that there will be another one only if you smash that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Now seriously, the creators, more ideas and stories will come to us in the form of a spin-off. We'll see you in the next video.